If this goes on, don't panic. Bringing hope to the world through speculative fiction. Alan with a new book review audio column. Tonight it is a very dark and rainy and relaxing night as I record this. I don't know if you all can hear that rain out there, but I hope you're all doing well. Tonight I have three reviews and two by the same author, which is a first. The first one I'm going to talk about is Cyber Mage by Saad Hussein, published by Unnamed Press in 2021. If I had to quickly describe this book, I'd say it's like Terry Pratchett wrote Snow Crash combined with a Brat Pack movie. There's hacking, hilarity, so many AIs, teenagers, and gin to top it all off. This book is so helter-skelter that it's hard to describe without sounding like I'm on drugs or something. So I'll give you a very brief synopsis, and then I'll move on to the characters who are the real treasures of this book. A young hacker, the Cyber Mage, decides he likes a pretty girl and hacks his way into high school. While there, things do not go well for him, thus the Brack Pat part of this book. In the meantime, there is a power struggle between Jin that spills over into the human world. The characters include a teenage hacker, Wonderkind, who lacks any real-world experience, a mass-murdering golem, who carries his victims' heads around, a djinn imbued with the essence of a dragon, and an airport AI who now runs a school and fucking hates it. Now you're starting to get the idea of why this book blew my mind. This is the second thing I've read by Mr. Hossein, and I just loved it as much as I loved the first one. I continue to be stunned by the energy of his work. It's snarky, intelligent, fun, dark, brutal, and exciting. I look forward to reading the rest of his works at some point. I recommend this to anybody who needs some humor to brighten up their day, fans of Jin, and fans of science fantasy. Okay, so second book, The Silence of the Wilting Skin by Tlo Tlo Samase, published by Pink Narcissus Press 2020. This novella is a surreal nightmare that reveals a thought-provoking critique of colonialism and the publishing industry. The plot is not structured in the Western sense of the term and can be opaque at times. I mean, honestly, this was a pretty tough book to read. Essentially, the main character's skin color begins to fall off and she starts to become translucent. She also begins to literally lose her language and is no longer able to communicate as she'd like. Communication with dead ancestors is also an important part of this story. The city they live in is split in two halves that seem to be at odds with each other, and the train of the dead makes the dividing line between the two. The dead on the train make regular visits to the living, though it is never explained how this works or why it happens. I really had to read this book slowly. I had to take notes. I had to think about things. Um, you know, this is the type of book you you contemplate and you know, you study. (laughs) This was not a thrill ride adventure type of book, but rather a puzzle of images and symbols. At least it was for me. And yet it was not difficult to find themes once I latched on. An understanding of the effects of colonialism on indigenous cultures helps to put the pieces together. And yet the story still allows for an affecting and dreamlike experience. I recommend this novella for readers interested in indigenous experiences surreal poetic language, and non-Western plot conventions. Okay, and the final review here, uh, this time is also by Saad Hossein. And this one's called Kundo Wakes Up. And this is published by Tor.com in 2022. 
This book takes place in the same world as Cyber Mage and the Gurkha in The Lord of Tuesday. It even includes a character from Cyber Mage, but I'll keep which character a secret so as not to ruin it for you. Much like his other work, there is a sense of humor throughout that energizes the work in ways many authors cannot. However, of all his work that I've read, it is the least humorous in tone, and actually a bit melancholy at times. I don't think this is bad. It just adds a bit of texture that differentiates it from the rest of uh, Mr. Hossein's books, at least the ones that I've read so far. In this story, Kundo, the main character, is a famous artist whose wife has left him. Despite his best efforts, he cannot find her and has become obsessed with learning her fate. One day, a clue turns up unexpectedly, and he sets off to find her. Along the way, he meets a number of colorful characters who help him. Hussein's characters are always great, as I mentioned above, and he doesn't let up here either. The primary characters, aside from Kundo, include a drug-addled, homeless programmer, a single mom, and a retired gangster. Again, I recommend this book for those who enjoy humor, strong and often unusual characters, and dystopias. All right, and so that's the end of our book reviews for this audio column. I hope you all find uh, these reviews interesting. I hope you go out and check out some of these books. There's some really cool stuff out there. So thanks for your time, and we'll talk to you again soon.